All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if we go on to our next match, as the Diamond Champion, Diana Diamond will be taking on the leader, the Army of Darkness, Dark Sakura. And now, make your way to the ring right now, ladies and gentlemen. Is the Diamond Champion, Dark Sakura, uh, not Dark Sakura, ah, Diana Diamond. Diana Diamond, uh, the former SEA Queen of Roses champion, lost it against Aquamarine at SEA Revelation in that 20 minute Iron Man match. I don't know why the hell I'm repeating what I said in, in, said, uh, early, in the second round. I mean, earlier in, in the second round of the second match of uh, round one, the second day. <laughs> A botch of words here. Uh. Anyway. Deanna Diamond, I don't know how she, that loss against Aquamarine really did a lot of effects. I mean, you lost in the grandest stage. You couldn't stop the Eternal Legend. And now the Eternal Legend is now the Eternal Champion. Deanna Diamond is looking to get the win this tournament and get her rematch at Death and Rebirth if she can win this tournament. But she's going to have a hell of a task against her. And she'll be taking on a former SE Rosa Roses champion. Leader of the Army of Darkness and the Tower of Sin, Dark Soccer. This will be the first time these two forces have ever faced each other before. Both are true to their own beliefs, both are true to their own idealism. The question will be whose ideals will be strong. As you listen to the roar of the crowd, the crowd being electric in the presence of the champ. Well, the former champion, but they don't care whether you know she's she's uh, as a title or not. They will still they still love her and they will still support her and they will continue to be by her side no matter what. All right, guys, and now here comes the opponent. Dark Sakura herself, the former SGA Rose of Roses champion, a woman whose goals are completely unknown, or what is it that, you know, her real objectives are, her true intentions. Dark Sakura has always been an enigma, a giant mystery. The only thing is that she just likes to contaminate everything. Freaking contaminating the entire world in her darkness, and the dark and her darkness basically contaminated this world. You know, she sent, um, so she sent uh, Saji Genpo to hell. She, you know, ate her soul and ate and destroyed the body, making sure that she doesn't come back. And that proves just how powerful, you know, Dark Sauger is. You know, Nappy keeps saying that she's um, Luce Marie Incarnate. You know, that's still under speculation. But with abilities like that and what she's done, in, you know, in the history of how, you know, by how long she's been here in SCA, um, it could be true. Dean Diamond's got to be really careful and really wants to try to end this quick. Because who knows um, what Dark Soccer will do. And you saw what she did to Ryomo in the in the first round. And hell, I hope that uh, she... But yeah, I hope she's... Uh, Ryomo will be okay. You know, like, knee to the back of the neck is not a great combination. Trust me. A damn diamond using a atomic drops. And I went right for the Cobra Clutch. And Dark Sakura just getting out of it like it was nothing. I mean, the you know the strength and power of Dark Sakura is always overwhelming. Just like that slam, it's like every blow she makes, it's like triple or double the damage. Deanna Diamond, if you were to make this like an RPG G terms, Deanna Diamond's fighting a boss character, a running bulldog there by Dark Sakura. Dark Sakura. User of the most devastating finishing move, one of the most devastating finishing moves in SCA, the Bestower of Sins. Just a move that ended her match with Ryomo in day one. A 
Trying to counter right there, right into a double arm DDT. DM Dunning did not see that one coming. Oh, snap air, right into a chin lock. And Dark Sagar just, just powering her way out of that move. That's just how powerful Dark Sagar is. Look at, you, look at these clubbing shots, look at these blows. Now Diamond, trying to respond back with some blows Rome, but her arm gets caught by Dark Sakura. Now Deanna Diamond countering with an elbow to the back of the head. Trying to go for some punches. No. Dark Sakura countering right into an abdominal stretch. And Diamond hit tossing her, uh, her off. This is a this is a fight. Now with the go down. Grabbing the leg, picking her up, and slamming her knee, slamming it right into the mat. Trying to do some damage to the knee. And Dark Sark really was holding her knee there. I think some damage was done to the knee a bit. Oh, Dark Sark just ducked under that clothesline. She tried to go for a throw thrust, but you know, she couldn't really connect with it. And Diamond now doing some damage to the arm. Trying to do something, anything. She tried to soften her up, and Dark Sark was this. Dark Sark kicked in the gut and a flipping neck breaker. That was really, uh, really impressive. And now Diamond grabbing the arm and just driving the arm into her knees. Trying to weaken that arm, trying to soften up so that, you know, the, the strikes that she'll do will do less damage. And a Russian leg sweep. Diamond keeping, trying to do her best to keep control in this matchup and going right into the Cobra Clutch again, trying to do some wear down, trying to soften her up. For when she does the Diamond Stunt, making it easier to pull off. No. Diamond just dropping her down. Holy best. Now Diamond being caught with a giant headbutt. Now just slap now she just slapping in the just slapping in the full nose. But Diamond will be able to break out. This is a situation, this is a fight. So far, Diamond's been, I gotta give Diamond uh, credit for really um, holding her ground so far. Now, what's that? So, ducking under the clothesline. And just throwing her right off the top rope. I don't know what Darkstar was gonna try to go for, but she got caught. And. Kicking Deanna Diamond right in the back of the knee. That was Dark Sagra's response to that. Now I'm going right for her to snap here once again. Going right for a double underhook submission. And now once again, going with that go behind. And now I'll just try it again with that atomic drop. Atomic drop. And now picking her up. Going right for a suplex. Diamond really turned this thing around. Oh, he was this. Picking her up. Running power bomb. And I'm just doing some mount punches. Some punches of doom. Are they cheating? Hogan? Oh, wait, she was going to try to go for a tiger bomb, but no, Dark Soccer are kicking and kicking out of it. Diana, going for that elbow shot. And encountering with the Lariat. Oh. oh, I thought she was going to try to go for the Diamond Star. No, Dark Star was going to try to go for the Bestower of Sin, but that got countered too. Diamond Stunner! Diana Diamond out of nowhere! What a Diamond Stunner! And Dark Star, oh my god, Dark Star quickly. She wisely rolled out of the ring. We, I know for a fact that that could have been over right there. Dan Diamond not wasting time getting Dark Sucker back in the ring. Dan Diamond quickly taking a break one second. Grabbing Dark Sucker. Dark Sucker with a counter. Deanna Diamond with a front counter to a front face lock. Elbow. I really thought the Diamond Star was going to end it, but no. Oh, what a running Larry. Dark Star quickly getting out of that mess. Now she's got Dark's Deanna in the corner. No, Deanna throwing her into the corner. Dark Sakura with a counter. Oh no, oh what a nice counter move there. Now once again grabbing her by the arm. 
and a Skrillinger. Nice with a Judo throw. Dark Star is still fighting with all it's still still fighting. Back suplex. Now Dark Star is turning things around now. And wait, counter there. Deion Diamond with the with the headlock punch. It is biting her into the mat. Oh Dark Star, oh my gosh, she just got right back up to her feet. Oh, Deanna just sent her. Oh, Dark Star sending Deanna Diamond to the outside. And Deanna getting back in the ring. Oh my god. This is crazy. There's so much action. Or the call. I'll keep it back in the knee. Diamond, we're going behind. Back in the neck to the to the canvas. That could be, I don't know, I think that could be all. That has to be it. One, two, oh my god, only a one count. It is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Star still has a whole lot of fight left in her. Oh no, oh no, ah, chop a doom. She just gave her an, a devastating open overhead chop. As then is leg, dropping on her leg, dropping on her weight. Oh, Diamond with a counter. Diamond with a go behind. Diamond sending Dark Sopper to the corner. And again with that running Lariat. Could that be all? That was a devastating Lariat. She caught her right in the throat. And that's it. Deanna Diamond, if you guys didn't notice that Lariat, she caught Dark Sopper dead in the throat with it. Let's look at these replays. First one, Dark Sopper sent Deanna Diamond to the corner. She was going for the double shoulder thrust. So it was kick. No, Diamond with the count. Right, going right into a Boston crack. Trying to wear her down. The Dark Sock was just way too powerful. Then, at another point in the match, countering that kick right into the Larry. Tried to go for a Diamond Stunner. Could not connect. She tried to go for the Bestower of Sins. That couldn't connect. Countering right into the Arm Breaker. And this time, the Diamond Stunner connected. Then, as we go later on in the match, where women are tired, Dark Zagra trying to slow her pace down with that back suplex. Trying to go for the Stewart Sin again, but Diamond was able to reverse it. And then she just spiked Dark Zagra right on the mat. Then Dark Zagra was trying to get something going. Diamond was able to get out of that situation. And this Lariat right to the throat. She literally, that Larry caught Dark Soccer dead in the throat. And that enough was enough to put Dark Soccer away. And guys, I believe you know what this means. It seems that at the quarterfinals, it'll be Deanna Diamond versus Sunsaku Hakafu in a true one-on-one -on -one match. The battle between two great icons here in SCA. Two great heroes. And I'll be looking forward to that ultimate showdown. Anyway guys, stay tuned for more SCA Climax action for this round.